hello everyone welcome to coding with Ivan and in this video we will install the arctic fox update of android studio as you know few days ago android studio released its arctic fox update where they mainly added the support for jetpack compose so in case you don't know about jetpack compose it's android's modern ui toolkit for building native ui so it mainly simplifies your ui development with lesser code powerful tools and intuitive kotlin apis so let's get started so at first as you can see i have opened my android studio and here i have opened the project news app that we made in the last video okay so install the update we have to go to at first on the file and from here we'll click on the settings and from there we'll expand the system settings and then we'll click on the updates and here we'll select this stable channel and then let's click on check now so it's checking for updates all right so it got the update of uh, 4.1.2 to arctic fox which is 2020.3.1 okay so let's click on this update and restart and let's click on the update restart again now it's downloading the patch files and that will take some time one eternity later Alright guys, now our update is done. It's asking to exit the Android Studio so that it will restart. So let's click on exit. A few moments later. Alright guys, so as you can see our Android Studio is now updated to Arctic Fox 2020.3.1. So it's starting now. and here it is so the layout has been changed as you can see these are all the projects okay so from here we can open any project let's click on this okay so now our gradle updates are done so here is our android studio so now let's check the version of it so I'll click on this help here and click on about so here as you can see it's updated to arctic fox all right that's how we can update our android studio to arctic fox i'll put a link of an article where you can read about the changes made inside this arctic fox update and if you want me to make a video on that, you can also comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.